Today is the four year anniversary of this channel. Time flies when you're having fun. Originally, I set this channel up just as a hobby, a way to combine my love of making videos with my love of cars. Initially, I just wanted to make enough money to go to some cars and coffee style events and maybe some F1 races. But as the channel grew and I took things more seriously, I decided to give myself five years to achieve three main goals. Number one, buy a Ferrari. Number two, get closer to the sport I love, Formula One. And number three, once I'd achieved those two goals, find myself the next big challenge. Well, this time last year, I bought my first Ferrari, a 360 Modena. And unbelievably, earlier this month, I drove a Formula One car. Yeah, that still hasn't sunk in. So that meant it was time for me to start thinking about the next big challenge. Now, I've always tried to challenge myself every year. I've always tried to push Seen Through Glass forward by finding new stories to tell and new ways to do it. Back in 2016, I took myself off to LA for two months and gave myself the challenge of making a video every day for around 70 days. It was called Vlog Angeles, and it was probably the most important thing I've done for the growth of this channel. I followed it up last year with Vlogari, my celebration of Ferrari's 70th anniversary. I drove around Italy for a month in an Abarth 124 Spider. I always knew it was going to be very hard to follow up those two series, but I think I might have just figured out a way to do so. In 2019, the next vlog venture will see me embark on a round the world trip. I cannot tell you how excited I am about this trip, but also to be telling you about the trip because I've been planning it for around 18 months or so now, and I really underestimated just how much planning goes into a trip this size. Drive the World, yes, that's the name by the way, Drive the World, will see me visit over 35 countries in 12 months. I will of course be filming it all for YouTube, but I'll also be documenting it on my podcast Behind the Glass across social media, in a documentary series, and also on my new seenthroughglass.com website. More on that to come soon. Now I'm not exactly gonna be loading up a Jeep Wrangler and circumnavigating the globe, trip I'm planning is already expensive enough and it turns out that 12 months isn't actually that long to get around the world. Instead, I'll be using the same car for around 75% of the trip, shipping it to countries and driving around. The rest of the time I'll be flying in and out and sourcing cars locally. Now exactly what car I'll be using for those big driving legs will be revealed soon on the Scene Through Glass YouTube channel. You may have seen that Tony and I already sort of started teasing the hunt for that car. I will say that things have progressed a little bit quicker than the, than the YouTube videos. So lots more information to come soon. Just like Vlog Angeles and Vlogari, Drive the World will be a mixture of travel and cars. I want to show you guys the greatest roads, film with the greatest cars, meet incredible collectors, share amazing stories and have one hell of an adventure. Now in due course, I'm going to be announcing a way that you guys can get in touch with me to suggest filming locations and cars to film with. The route itinerary is pretty much laid out, but it's subject to change and that's where you come in.
Let's face it, I would not be in the position I'm in without the support of you guys. Fundamentally, you're the ones that built this channel. I just make the videos, you keep coming back, subscribing, watching and supporting what I'm doing and I'm so grateful for that. It blows my mind that I've got subscribers and viewers in India and Japan and Texas and Portugal and all over the world and a big part of next year is coming to find you just to say thank you but of course also making epic content for you to consume. For those of you that sort of want to get a little bit more involved and specifically more involved with the Drive the World adventure, I've actually set up a Kickstarter. Now I think it's important to say that currently I'm funding this entire trip myself. Whilst I know it's going to be completely epic, the scale of the adventure is obviously limited somewhat by the funds in my bank account. So 100% of any money raised via the Kickstarter will only ever be used for the Drive the World trip. It'll be used for things like flights and accommodation and visa and insurance and boring stuff like that. But what it does mean is that for any of you who are interested in getting involved, you will have a direct impact in the content I make. You'll be able to come along and join me on days. You'll be able to help create videos. You can be part of videos. If you've got a company you want me to come and film, if you've got a car you want me to come and film, head over to the Kickstarter, check out the various rewards. They start from one pound and they're for individuals and for companies. In addition to that, throughout the year, I'll be making additional vlogs and, and content that will only be available to those who were part of the Kickstarter. They won't go on YouTube, they won't go on any other social media platform, they're just for you guys who wanted to get involved and be part of something bigger. If you're not interested, then just sit back, wait for January 2019, and wait for the epic content that is going to be coming. I really only have one other thing to tell you about and that is that seenthroughglass.com is now live. Well, phase one is now live with huge thanks to the amazing team at Treacle who've been doing all of the design and creation work for the site. We now have something that you can go and check out. So head over to seenthroughglass.com. There's a little bit more information about Drive the World on there, more info on me, the STG shop, recent content, but also a free membership sign up page. And you're gonna wanna do that if you're gonna wanna know more about Drive the World because I'll be using it to reveal the car I'm taking on the trip, a route and itinerary updates and other ways that you can get in touch and get involved with everything I'm doing. So there's a much bigger site coming. Phase two will roll out just before the start of Drive the World and have all that exclusive content that I mentioned to you. So yes, go over now, sign up to the newsletter, seenthroughglass.com and get ready for the madness that's about to start. Because that is exactly it. I feel so relieved to finally be able to tell you my plans. I've been working on this for so long and I'm so excited. I wanted to do something to, to shake things up, to challenge myself, but also to change up the channel. And I know this is gonna be it. I hope you're as excited as I am. I can't wait to meet so many of you, hear from so many of you, and hopefully work together with lots of you. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications for future videos because I, I promise you the rest of this year is going to be mad enough and then in January 2019 I'm going around the world.